For this project, this artisan constructs the base of the felt out of merino wool roving, which is wool that's been cleaned, processed, and dyed. She tears off short lengths of fibers and lays them down side by side, forming a layer. She lays another layer on top perpendicular to it. She builds up three to five layers this way, a technique called cross-hatching. This process interlaces the fibers, strengthening the base of the felt. Next, she takes patterned silk chiffon fabric that color coordinates with all the fibers she's using, cuts out squares and rectangles, and lays them onto the wool base. It's critical to create the right balance of wool and non-wool fibers, so that the wool will be able to grab and hold the layers together to form the Nuno felt. She adds some mica. Mica is a shiny natural mineral, which in thin flakes like this is practically weightless. Sprinkling a bit of mica onto the surface produces a sequin-like effect. Once the layout is finished, the artisan sprays the materials with soapy water. Absorbing water makes the fibers more flexible. It also changes the pH level of the wool, making it more alkaline, which triggers the wool fibers to grab the adjacent fibers. Next, she wraps her design in bubble wrap and begins the process of felting the fibers with a combination of pressure, agitation, and heat. First, she presses out trapped air with a palm washboard. The bubble wrap acts as a cushion, preventing the design from distorting. The artisan takes a foam cylinder and gently rolls up the piece, working out any wrinkles as she goes. Next, she amps up the agitation by rolling on a series of textured surfaces. Each change of texture hits the piece at different points, pushing out the air between the fibers. While the wet fibers continue to interlock and compress with rolling, the wool and silk elements of the design shrink at different rates, producing contrasts in the surface texture. By the end, the piece, which started out being almost a third of an inch thick, is now just a tenth of an inch thick. After a final touch-up of the openings, she gathers up the felt and gently rinses it in water with a bit of vinegar. This removes the soap, which would damage the wool over time. The wash also returns the pH to normal, which closes the fibers and stabilizes the felt. After removing as much moisture as possible by rolling up the felt in a towel, she lays it on a counter to air dry. Now, this handcrafted Nuno felt shawl is poised to make a one-of-a-kind fashion statement.